In this video, we will see how to compute the capacitance of a cylindrical capacitor using the electrostatic study in EMWorks 2D. Let us start with first creating the geometry. I create a sketch in the front plane and I sketch my first conductor. It's actually a cylindrical surface with a diameter of 1.5 millimeters. Now I will convert them into a planar surface. Next I am going to use the same front plane to create the second conductor. Whose diameter is actually 3 millimeters. So I can also now once this is done I create a planar surface to denote the second conductor. Now that we have both the conductors we need to create the dielectric material between the two conductors. Next we will also create a sketch in the front plane. Here I will use existing entities to convert the sketch and then create a planar surface. So as you see we have three planar surface. I am highlighting the two conductors here and also the dielectric medium between the two conductors. Now let us go ahead save the model. You can save it under any file name that you would like. Now we will do the simulation in EMWorks 2D. To do the simulation in EMWorks 2D, first we need to define a coordinate system. So let's go ahead, insert the reference geometry coordinate system. We are going to do an XY type of 2D simulation. So you need to make sure that the X and Y axis are in the same plane as your surfaces and Z comes out. Now we are ready to go ahead and start the study. So the first step is to right click and create a study. So far we have seen some magnetostatic studies. This is the first time we are going to select electrostatic study. We can say compute capacitance because the objective is to compute the capacitance of this cylindrical capacitor. I go to the 2D geometry tab and select the planar XY as the solution type. On a later example we will do some axisymmetric problems. I select the coordinate system and here I want to keep the length of the model to be 30 millimeters. What this actually means is this particular planar surface is extruded in the z-axis and the capacitor actually is 30 millimeters in length. Since we are going to do a 2D approximation of this particular 3D structure, we just draw its cross section and use that for simulation. But in the formulation, we need to specify the length of the capacitor. Then we say OK and EMWorks 2D creates the study. The next step is to define the materials. So we can select the two surfaces that represent the conductor. We can right click, select apply materials and from the EMS material library we open the conductor material and we can select copper and close. Then for the dielectric material, we can choose to keep the dielectric as air. So we will just keep the dielectric as air. So this is a capacitor which has the dielectric material as air. Next we need to specify the voltage difference between the two conductors. So let us take the inner conductor and then specify a fixed voltage of 1 volt and we 
For capacitance calculation, we can denote this conductor as the signal. Then we take the next outer conductor. We create a fixed voltage. Now this is grounded and so we select ground for capacitance setting and select OK. So now we have both the fixed voltage as well as the ground. Now this is sufficient to solve the problem and look at the results. So let's right click on study 1 and select run. EMWorks 2D has solved the study and it's now time to look at some of the results. One result that does interest us is the electric field distribution. This is the electric field distribution in the dielectric region or the air region as you can see. The high electric field is closer to the conductor that has one volt and then the electric field decreases as we go away from the conductor which has one volt. If I double click on the result table and then I can select the capacitance tab. Here I can read the value of the capacitance. The capacitance that is computed is 2.4 picofarad. 2.4 into 12, uh, 10 to the minus 12 farads. Thus we saw how EMWorks 2D can be used to compute the capacitance of a cylindrical capacitor. Now let us change the dielectric and see how the capacitance value changes. So to do a study variation, we first clone the study. To clone the study, I right click on the study and select copy. Now I go back to the top level and I right click and select paste. Now it will ask you to name the new study. I'm going to call it as study 2. Thus we have easily cloned study 1 and created study 2. Now in study 2, all that remains to be done is to change the material of the dielectric. So let us right click on the surface that represents the dielectric, select apply material and then I open the folder of substrates and then I could probably select say a dielectric substrate from say Rogers, so maybe Duroid and then say OK. Now all I need to do is right click on study 2 and select run. Now EMS automatically computes the solution and when we double click on the result table we can read the capacitance here. Now the capacitance this time is about 25 picofarads. So Compare that with air as a dielectric. Obviously, this is a much better dielectric material and hence it has a much higher capacitance.